Ingrid presented with a, um, a leg deformity called a valgus deformity, or commonly known as a knock knee deformity. And it was visible, very visible. Her leg was crooked, and because of that, she had developed arthritis in her knee. A crooked leg is like a malaligned car. And just like a car that's not lined up properly, puts more pressure on one side and leads to premature wear of the tires, a crooked leg puts more pressure on one side of the knee joint and leads to arthritis. I mean, I lived with it for a long time and then it got to a point, you know, when I got closer to 40 that it just became something that I was aware of constantly. It doesn't matter what I was doing, if I was biking or running around, swimming, I couldn't do anything anymore. I went skiing in Maine because I always had to do something. I wasn't never going to say I'm not going to do something because my leg hurts or whatever. So I went skiing, which wasn't the smartest decision and I ended up falling, wiping out down the hill, of course, and hurt my right leg. It tore the ACL completely. So I went to the city to have it repaired, and the guy didn't know which leg I was there for, because I had one sticking out the side, the other one had the ACL was busted, and he said, I think I know someone who could help you. So he sent me over to Rosbrook, my x-rays. Rosbrook came back, said, great, I'll meet her, I can do it. And um, he said, not only do you have one bad leg, you have two bad legs, I need to straighten both of them. She actually had deformities of both legs. One was very dramatic. She had a knock knee on one side and a bow leg on the other side. And so we did them in a staged fashion where we did one and then did the other one so that I was able to maintain her mobility the whole time. Prior to me going to Rosbrook, I had addressed the issue with other doctors and um, they wanted to give me a complete and total knee replacement at the age of 40. And you know, you really shouldn't be having them at the age of 40. You ideally want to have, because you only can do it once. So um, I had a lot of people want to do a lot of strange things, reset the osteotomy, and he's the only one who kind of had the perfect answer. So I was like, sign me up. I was booked within a month and ready to go. Best thing I ever did. Best, best thing I ever did. She was so self-conscious about her leg deformity that she wouldn't wear shorts or skirts and was really ashamed of the way her leg looked. And that combination of um, a functional problem, um, the inability to walk well, run well, pain in the knee, and a, um, an aesthetic displeasure with the appearance and a self-consciousness with the crooked leg is very common. That's a combination that I, that I see. And this is a situation where you don't want to do a knee replacement. You want to preserve the knee joint. My goal is to straighten the leg. And by straightening the leg, I'm going to um, make the knee function better. So the process was basically to, to cut the bone and realign the leg. So cutting the bone is something called osteotomy. It's the fancy word for it. And the best way to do it, and the way that we do it, is in a minimally invasive fashion where we do almost like a partial cut in the bone. It's a very small cut in the bone, just enough to allow the bone to have some mobility and we build a frame on the leg, kind of like braces would be on teeth. And by teaching the patient how to adjust the frame three to four times per day, very, very gradually over the course of two, three, four weeks, depending on the size of the deformity, um, the leg will straighten out. So in other words, the bone will just gradually change its position. And while it's doing that, bone will grow and and then we'll hold it in that position. Now, the big advantage of doing it in this kind of way is that when you do things gradually, the body tolerates it very nicely. And you can, we can correct deformities, we can lengthen, we can actually pull the bone apart and bone will fill in the gap. The skin and the muscles and the nerves all stretch very, very slowly and they grow. So the body kind of deals with it almost like it's a growth spurt. We do the surgery under a regional anesthetic, it's like an epidural very little blood loss during the surgery. We apply the apparatus to the leg to match the deformity, cut the bone through a very small incision, wait a week until the bone starts to heal a little bit, and then we start this process of gradual straightening. This is the only way you can do limb lengthening. The only way you can actually lengthen the leg is by doing it gradually. Some situations we have the patients do their own adjustments and sometimes it doesn't require that and really just requires doing a little bit of adjustments here in the office when they come in every few weeks. In this situation we use the frame to actually compress, you know, 
just like you can use these frames to pull the bone apart slowly to lengthen, you can also use the frame to actually compress or move it in this direction. And that's, you know, that's what this frame is. I mean, these are, this is a custom-made frame for Arlene, um, for what her particular needs are. And it's built like an erector set. We build it on the patient in the operating room. And so it helps us do that. That's what I tell everybody that asks. My doctor plays with erector sets. <laughs> One of the nicest doctors I've ever I've ever had. I mean, he honestly he'll send you an email at 12 o'clock at night. He'll call you from on the on, from his own cell phone on the weekends. He's got the nicest bedside manner. You're you're never rushed. You're doing this for in my situation for almost a year, and you're in the city every week. Or you're in the hospital for five days, and um, you don't want some gruff guy coming in just you know number 22 Ingrid. Oh, what's your last name? And he's just he knows everything about you that your kids and how you doing and. Um, I'd do it again in a second. We're here. We have excellent, predictable, reproducible methods for dealing with these kinds of problems. A lot of people still don't completely know that this is possible. Um, people really don't know that, that it's possible to lengthen a leg, or to, to straighten a crooked leg. And so it's important that people know that we're here and that uh, people don't have to live with these problems. Half of these exercises that you've seen I was never able to do, so it's a high, it's just a lot of fun and I feel so much better about myself. Thank you.